Did you know that in action adventure sandbox game Terraria, if you create a seed with the name of Not the Bees, this will happen. So the world that your character spawns into is made up mostly of beehives and honey blocks, with all of the water being replaced with honey. The name of this seed is a reference to the 2006 Nicolas Cage movie Wicker Man and this now infamous scene. Dad, what is it? Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Out of my eyes! Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we cover some of the best Easter eggs found in video games. As always, if you think you know of a video game Easter egg that I'm yet to cover, then let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to check it out. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's begin by taking another look at BeamNG.Drive. In the last episode of this series, we discovered a sign that informed us that there were no Easter eggs up here and were advised to keep searching. Well, if you enter photo mode and look behind the main jump ramp, you can find this. So it seems that the creator of this map suspected that people would fly out of bounds, so added an invisible wall and this sign to prevent them from doing so. Next up, if you select the EB Shoe 200 BX, you can find a familiar song playing on the radio. Obviously, I can't play the song here. I mean, YouTube claims a video even if you hum a song. But the song that's playing on the radio is Sandstorm by Darude. If you've somehow managed to avoid this song over the years, I will try to remember to leave a link in the description. The final Beam NG Easter egg is the coolest so far. On the altitude map, if you jump into the lake, you can find this. Oh, and just a heads up, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, you may want to skip this one. So this whirlpool slash wormhole goes on for ages. Well, for like three or four minutes before you just fall into nothingness, but that's long enough when you're stuck in a wormhole. There was also a point where I fell out of the wormhole and it looked like something out of Inception. So there's that. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I love games like Prey and Dishonored. So when I heard that the co-director of both of those games had started a new studio and that the game was going to be in Game Pass on day one, I had to check it out. Weird West is an action role-playing game that takes place in the American frontier with the added threats of supernatural elements. It's a game that has some very clever mechanics and rewards out-of-the-box thinking, so if that sounds like your thing, then check it out. Anyway, the first easter egg that I noticed in Weird West is one that you would probably expect to find in a game that has elements of the immersive sim genre. Early on in the game, a prisoner will tell you an all-too-familiar code. Of course, the 0451 code has featured in tons of games at this point, including the aforementioned Prey and Dishonored. Now, I originally thought that this was a reference to the Ray Bradbury book, Fahrenheit 451, but it's since been confirmed that the code was the key code to the Looking Glass offices in Cambridge. Looking Glass were the developers of System Shock, one of the best examples of the immersive sim genre and a game that also featured the 0451 code. The other Weird West Easter egg is a nod in the direction of Dishonored. At the bottom of a rat pit, you can find this person. So this man is called Corvo and has the title of Royal Protector. This is of course a reference to Corvo Atano, the main character from Dishonored 1 and one of the playable characters from Dishonored 2. 
Oh, and if you loot the Weird West version of Corvo, he will be carrying a pistol and machete, similar to the weapons he uses in the Dishonored games. I'm sure there's plenty more to find in Weird West. I'm guessing it has loads of hidden details, for example. So if you've come across anything worth sharing, then let me know in the comments. So in episode 75 of the Hidden Detail series, we discovered that the new Dead by Daylight character Sadako has a thing for scaring you before you even start playing the game. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sadako is a character from the Japanese movie Ringu. In the movie, anyone who watches a cursed videotape would die seven days later. Well, in a really, really cool nod to the movie, when booting up the game seven days after buying the DLC, this will happen. So that was Dead by Daylight's interpretation of the cursed tape from the movie. For watching the killer cassette, you're rewarded with a charm, so I'll let you guys decide if it was worth watching the tape or not. Okay, to end today's video, let's take a look at some of the April Fool's Easter eggs that were added to games on the day where you cannot take anyone or anything seriously. Over the years, some of my favourite Easter eggs have been found during April Fool's. I mean, who can forget the time when all enemies in For Honor were replaced with raving rabbits? The first game to get in on the April Fool's action was Rocket League. Upon loading up the game on April Fool's, you were greeted with this screen, which showed off three wheeled cars and a very strange message. Seriously, if you can work out what this message says, then please comment it down below. Anyway, under the casual playlist, you can find a game type called Confidential Third Wheel Test. Let's select this new playlist and see exactly what it is. I mean, I don't know what else I expected. It is indeed a mode where all the cars had three wheels, which makes tight turns almost impossible as your once stable car will topple onto its side. The next game to celebrate April Fools was Among Us. Now I, like I assume many of you, haven't played Among Us in a long time. So when I loaded the game up and the main menu looked like this, I was wondering what I'd missed. Well, when I decided to hop into a game, things got even weirder. So the crewmates and the imposter are reimagined as these cursed four-legged creatures. As you can see, I was the imposter, so I made sure that the last things my victim saw was a hockey mask, a mohawk, and the strangest looking horse they had ever seen. The final game to get in on the fun was Apex Legends, with my favourite April Fool's Easter egg of 2022. Fans of any of Respawn's games will know that they have a fascination with Nessie plushies. They can be found in all of their games, and you can even stumble across a secret Nessie plushie meeting in Titanfall 2. Until now, the Nessies were pretty useless, but that all changed on April Fool's Day. If you logged into Apex Legends on April Fools, you could find one of these. The first is 
so the old Nessie legendary shotgun fires Nessie plushies that will hunt your enemies down and cause them very little damage. I don't know about you, but I can think of worse ways to die than being smothered by a Loch Ness plushie. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.